and welcome back Beatbox fam, it's KO here and today we're going to be learning the top 10 tips for, you know it, the throat bass. I want to take a second here and announce that I've got a sponsorship with Ravewear Pashminas, super awesome brand, they make these really sweet Pashminas, soft, keep yourself warm this holiday season, get a gift for yourself or your friends. Let's get right to it. Number 10, warm up. So, before we start even practicing the throat bass, we want to be sure that we warm up. We want to be sure that we keep our vocal cords in pristine condition so that we don't damage them in any sort of way. I'm going to be releasing a video on my specific warm up here in the future, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see that video later. Also, I'm already releasing segments of that warm-up video on my Instagram, which will be posted right here. Be sure to check those out if you want an advanced look at my warm-up. Number nine, be able to harness the vibration, guys. If you don't know how to harness the vibration, then go check out my past videos. The video on throat bass, and then once you know the video on throat bass, check out the codfish throat bass tutorial. Once you know those two ones, come here, but first and foremost, make sure you know that first throat bass tutorial or else this one, this video may not make a lot of sense. Number eight, practice throat bass slowly, right? So instead of going right into complex routines, you want to be able to practice it slowly. If you're not able to do it slowly, then what's going to happen is when you do it quickly, it's going to come through as sloppy. It's going to come through as your tone, your tone isn't going to be as strong. The pitches may not be there. So you want to be able to first and foremost practice slowly because if you don't have that proper foundation, then it's not going to come through how you want to on the stage or when you make your routine, your beatbox video. On to the next one. Number seven, enjoy practicing, guys. If you don't enjoy practicing, then why are you practicing in the first place? I'm gonna let that sink in. I enjoy practicing because it's something that you can continually get better at, right? Beatboxing is like one of the few constants in life where it's like you can always get better. It's like, oh, I learned the technique. I thought it couldn't get better, but it got better still. My throat bass is still getting better to this day. That's why I love beatboxing so much. It's like you can plateau, but your stuff still, your individual sounds still get better. Oh, my! I'm able to do two quick spit snares in rapid succession instead of one before. Oh, my throat bass has a tone that I wasn't able to have before. It's, it's fun, you know, make practice fun, you know, find out how to make it fun and make that work for you. Because if you're not having fun, like, then why are you doing it in the first place is my question to you. Number six, one way that we can enjoy practicing is we can find someone to practice with. This can be either online, in person, I don't know how else, over video games. Just find, find another person to practice with. You know, it makes practicing more fun. You know, it becomes more of like a, a dialogue of sound, if you will. And you'll be able to level each other up, right? So if, you're, if your buddy is practicing and he's practicing more than you, then it'll ideally inspire you to practice more as well, right? That way you're both like, you know, oh, and now I'm leveling up, he's leveling up, I'm leveling up. And now we're both at this healthy level as opposed to if you're practicing by yourself. Maybe you only have so much inspiration, so hopefully that beatbox friend is able to supply you with a little bit more inspiration so that you're both able to, you know, practice the throat bass, get down different pitches, um, learn different techniques that incorporate with it to then create routines, right? I'd like to take a quick second and thank Ravewear once again. I've got the link in the description. It's available on Amazon with one day shipping. Check it out. They're extremely soft, extremely warm. And there's, I mean, like, look at them, look at them. You know, they've got amazing pictures on their Amazon page. Check them out today. We're going to combine the next tips, number five and number four. Go through the alphabet using throat bass and finding letters that make sounds that you enjoy. Go through the alphabet using the throat bass, right? Find different consonant enunciations to play with. You know, maybe it's like you like the letter B. It's like, B-O, B. 
So go through the alphabet, literally go and go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I. Oh, that's cool. Both. I shall bluff what I And you know, combine different consonant or vowel sounds as well. Chow. So it's like ch yow. Chow. Bluff. Chai chai. I wow. Wow. So you know, try out different sounds. You know, go through the alphabet and play with the individual sounds, play with the vowel sounds, play with the consonants, combine them so that they can create these really cool, articulate, nifty sounds, you know? It's like, that's, that's part of the fun, you know? It's making it fun. How can you make practicing throat bass fun for you? It's, it's not, there's not one universal way to practice, there's not one universal way to make it fun, it's particular to each person, right? So find the way that works best for you. Try the alphabet method. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but try it out at least. And we're coming into the countdown at number three. Drink water. I don't know how many times I've said this in my tutorials. Oh, I'm sure it was a lot. Drink water, guys. So when you're, when you're practicing, you're drying out your throat. And when you're practicing with a dried out, dehydrated throat, you're more prone to hurt your throat. I've been practicing throat bass for seven years, and bless up, I've never had something where I was able to not beatbox for a long time. And that's because, you know, I drink water, guys. Whenever I always have this 32 ounce bottle of water, um, I've been to the doctor for dehydration and they say that the minimum amount of water that you want to drink is 64 ounces. They recommend 96, but at least be drinking 64 ounces of, of water a day and be sure to drink water while you're practicing, you know what I mean? Once you go through the alphabet, drink some water. Once you're, once you're done with a two minute little freestyle, drink some water, you know, keep the throat in proper condition just like you would any other part of the body. Number two, practice different pitches with your throat bass, right? So how do you make it sound, your regular throat bass sound different? So it becomes a little monotonous at times, right? It, there's not much variation to it. So practice different pitches, you know, either have your piano app that you're imitating different pitches on or find a song that you enjoy and practice pitches based on that, you know. So that way you can keep listeners engaged, you know, when you're practicing throat bass. And, it, and it's fun for you, right? Ideally, you know, that's that's the end goal is for it to be fun, right? So each of those is a different pitch, right? They're all different pitches. So what you want to do is you want to practice individual pitches. Going back to one of the other tips, you want to practice it slowly. That way when you do incorporate into a routine, that way it comes across very articulate. It comes through with a precise tone. It sounds good to the ear. And we're coming in at number one, create your own routine. This is by far and large what I encourage the most. It makes it the most fun for myself, hopefully for you as well. And it makes, it forces originality, right? So when you create a routine, regardless of if you draw inspiration from whatever number of artists, right? You draw those different sources of inspiration in order to create your routine, right? So find the people that you do like and draw like, you know, find five artists that you like, draw a different little bit that you like from those artists, create a routine and create a throw based melody or rhythm that is hard for you, right? Don't make it something you already know, otherwise, you're gonna plateau, right? So create something hard, that way when you practice it, you're continually getting better with that you know, version of the throat bass that you're not very good at. It makes it hopefully more fun because when you learn the routine, when you memorize the routine, you're also gonna have a better understanding of this new throat bass that you've done. That's it for this first top 10 video, guys. We're gonna be making more of these top 10 videos in the future. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. If you learned something or if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Make sure to like, subscribe. You know the drill. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much, and take it easy this holiday season.
fall in love, yeah, she might be the one, she might be the one, to take the pain away of me.